still investigating. She survived hell. Michelle Knight held captive for over 10 years by Ariel Castro. But now Knight is revealing she actually forgives the man who tortured her. Michelle Knight continues to heal. The abuse survivor spoke at a forum on Sunday at Notre Dame Cathedral Latin High School in Chardon, moderated by WMJI's Mark Nolan. Believe it or not, she made me feel at ease, very gracious, uh, very giving. Knight stunned many when she revealed a breakthrough in her therapy. She said, quote, I was able to say his name, Ariel Castro. I was able to forgive him. That was empowering for her. Had to be. For her to be able to take that, use it as she moves forward in life, um, I, I think that's what's going to keep her going and, and certainly does continue to do that. Castro held Michelle Knight, Amanda Berry, and Gina DeJesus captive in a Seymour Avenue home in Cleveland for over a decade. They escaped over a year ago. Knight, who now prefers to be called Lily, says she was able to forgive Castro because it hadn't been his fault. Quote, he had a disease. Dr. McDavid of Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital says being able to forgive is about spiritual growth. She's out. She's free. She has dealt with the demons. Uh, she has some ability to care for herself, and hopefully she can move on. Michelle Knight's story of survival is also played out in her new book titled Finding Me, already a huge hit. Something has allowed her to say, you know what, I'm walking through this, this door, and I'm closing it behind me, and I'm only going to look to the future. Ariel Castro killed himself while serving a life sentence. His victims now focused on the future, and Michelle Knight says she's choosing to live a meaningful life. We have new information tonight in a cruel ice bucket challenge prank in Bay Village.